uh, having three NFL players before or son-in-law plays in the NFL as well, uh, it's a lot of stress. I played college football and when my wife and I got married, we kind of said early on that our kids aren't playing football. And then when Paul got of age, I think he was seven years old, he was determined to play football. He was gonna play football. And my wife and I said, still, no, we're not, you're not playing football, that's it. So about two weeks later, I come home from a trip and I'd been gone a week and uh, my wife comes to me and she says, well, I need to tell you that I signed Paul up for football today. And by the way, you're the head coach. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I knew that my husband was good at it. And I figured who better could coach my son than my husband. My dad coached every single one of us until we were in high school. To be honest, I think he was rougher on, on his boys than he was on the team. He would make us run so much. Guys would be throwing up. It was literally the worst conditioning I've ever done. He was hard on me. And I just remember looking at my dad like, why are you doing this? I'm your son, you know? But he treated me the same as he treated all the other kids. He wanted me to learn those lessons. Now that I look back on that, that's, that was the greatest, the single greatest decision or thing I've ever done in my life. It wasn't that I was their coach. It, what was more important was I was spending time with my kids. Extraordinary how, you know, we're on the NFL and he, he kind of brought us up through uh, football and, and uh, raised us the way we are. We've uh, developed a bond that's just, you know, out of this world. I like to think that I get my integrity from my father. Um, I couldn't ask for a better father. He's pretty much like a second father to me. Um, you know, if I can't get my dad on the phone, I'm usually calling him. The one word I've heard everybody use to describe him is he's a gentle giant. I don't think you can really appreciate what somebody's done for you um, from a young age until you're older. I believe that when you're older in life that you'll look back and uh, you'll wish you had spent more time with those kids. The most priceless things in life aren't um, things that you can buy, but they're relationships and time. I hope they learned that they appreciate uh, the time I gave to them, that they'll do the same thing for their children. Uh, who could ask for more?